everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Millie and today I'm going to share with you 10 of my favorite baby girl names that I absolutely love but didn't use. But first, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch more videos related to motherhood and lifestyle. I upload new videos every week. Okay, so let's get started. Well, yeah, so I wanted to make this video because I have a lot of names, baby girl names I really like. Uh, my daughter's name is Olivia and uh, she is American. My husband is American and I'm Peruvian. We speak Spanish in Peru. So we wanted to choose a name that uh, goes well in both languages, that is easy to pronounce in both languages. So that's why we end up picking Olivia that I absolutely love. I love it. And that's why we uh, we didn't end up choosing many of the names we really like for girls because of that reason. So I'm going to share with you 10 of my favorite baby girl names. Okay, the first one is Ava. I really like this short name. It comes from the Latin word avis, that means bird, and from the Hebrew word um, shava or sheva, that means life. I really like it. It became popular uh, because of the actress Ava Garner. It was the first time I heard of that name and I really like it. For me, it's a sophisticated name. I don't know. If I hear that name and I think of glamour. I don't know. I like it a lot. And I said, as I said, it's short. So it goes well, I think, from with a long last name too. So yeah, I really like it. Okay, the next one is Amelia. I really like this name too comes from the Germanic word amal, that means work. And in Spanish is pronounced amelia. I like both pronunciations. I don't know, I find it sweet and delicate. Really like it. It's popular to the French version of this name that is Amelie or Amelie. I don't know how to pronounce it well from the movie. It became popular too. Yeah, I like both. Sounds Sounds cute and sweet. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the next one is Clementine. It's a French name that means mercy. Um, in the US, uh, we pronounce it Clementine, but in French it's Clementine. I like both. I really like this name. Of course, it's a type of tangerine. It's a food name. I really like how it sounds. It sounds very soft and elegant. A really, a really girly name. Yeah, I love it. Okay, the next one is Lila. It spells L-I-L-A. It's an Arabic name that means night or dark beauty. It also, it's a short version of the name Delilah. But I really like Lila. Uh, the first time I heard this name was in one of the band Oasis songs. It's called Lila. I really like that song. That name stuck with me. I don't know, for me it sounds like, I don't know, fresh. I like the, the sound Lila. I think it has character. I don't know, that's how I feel about it. But yeah, it's a very pretty name. Okay, the next one is Adeline. I love this name. That's one of the names I was thinking when I was pregnant with Olivia. One of our first choices. And yeah, I think it sounds really delicate and feminine. It's a French name that means novel. Yeah, I really like this one. I don't know, it sounds classic. It's becoming more popular these days. So yeah, love this name. Okay, the next one is a name that the spelling and the pronunciation are totally different. It's pronounced Sorsha. Sorsha. I had to look it up because my husband said, some, said to me something totally different. At first he thought it was like Sorsi, which I like also. But then I look it up and it's actually Sor Sorsha, Sorsha. I don't know, I like this name. It's, it's um, not that common. I like how it sounds in both my husband's pronunciation and the actual one. And it's an Irish name that means freedom, liberty. And I, I don't know, I think it has a lot of character. But at the same time, it's cute and girly, I don't know. But that one of the reasons we didn't choose this name it was because of that, because of the pronunciation and the spelling. It, it was going to be confusing because, as I told you, we wanted a name that goes with, in Spanish too. So, so it was going to be a little confusing, so that's why we didn't choose it. But, but yeah, I really like it too. Okay, the next one is Hazel. 
I absolutely love this name. I love how it sounds. It's so, it sounds beautiful, um, delicate. I love it. It's in reference of the hazelnut tree. And also in ancient times, the one of the hazel meant protection and authority. So yeah, as I said, I think it's a delicate, soft name that I really love for a, a girl name. So yeah, hazel. I love it. Okay, the next one is Isla. I also love this name a lot. The first time I heard it was uh, from the actress Isla Fisher and I absolutely loved it. It uh, has a Scottish and Spanish origin. It means island. And actually in Spanish it's pronounced Isla. And again, that's one of the reasons we didn't choose it because of the pronunciation is different in both languages. Uh, but it's short, I really like it. I like the sound, Isla. I don't know, sounds like even exotic. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, love it. Okay, the next one is Aurora. It has a Latin origin that means dawn. And of course, you heard it before because it's, uh, it's in Sleeping Beauty, the Princess Aurora in Sleeping Beauty. That's when I, it became really popular. And yeah, I like it. I like the sound of it. Um, it's like you you hear that name and you think it's a princess name. In Spanish, it's pronounced Aurora. So it's a little different. But yeah, I think I like both pronunciations. But yeah, it's a princess girly name. Okay, and the last one is Maya. I love this name too. It's not that common. It's a Greek name that means water. And also the Romans consider Maya to be the goddess of spring. That's why the uh, month May came from the name Maya. So yeah, it has history, short. I like it because it sounds unique and even mystical, at least for me. So yeah, I love it. It became popular too from the American poet Maya Angelou. So yeah, love it a lot. Okay, so I have a bonus name that is be becoming popular for girls nowadays. That is James. Of course, you may have heard before for a boy name, but I'm um, seeing that it's becoming more and more popular to name girls James, uh, especially middle names. And I'm, I don't know, I like how it sounds a lot, especially for a middle name. Like I hear like, um, a singer, Leah James, and Kristen Cavallari's daughter's name is Sailor James. And as I said, I love how it sounds. I think for me it sounds um, sweet, soft, girly too. I don't know why. I love it more uh, in a girl than in a boy. <laughs> so I don't know. Let me know in the comments how do you feel about it, if you like it too for a girl. And yes, this is all the names I wanted to share with you. Let me know in the comments which other names you love for girls or which uh, names you like from the list. Let me know. And if you want me to make a video with my favorite boy names, like this video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.